Hi, welcome back for more Dragon Quest. Dragon Questin. Uh, almost thought we deleted our save file briefly. Not really, but hey, welcome back. Yeah, this looks like where we that left would, off. Yeah, that would be just our luck. We decided since the last session that we actually don't give a fuck about the stupid fucking uh, coat, so. It's not super necessary. We're kind of kicking ass anyway. We'll go get it if we need it, but I don't really need All it. All right. So let's figure out what needs to happen now. Don't you love a game? Or... Hmm. Okay. Where's our super dragon? It should be an item... I don't know where it is, but... Right, you don't organize anything, do you? It should be in the bag. That's where I remember it being. I was looking around in the bag. I can find it. It's the Zenithian titanium... Blah, 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 the bell. Oh, is that the, it? The, the Zenithian titty. Titanopulum? Yeah, that guy. Oh, okay, listen, pal. Let's see if I can control the thing. It just has ice physics. That's how it works. No. Yeah, it's ice physics. Alright. You can, you can I mean, it's like... Set. It's free ice physics. You can hold the buttons to control it as much as you want, but it doesn't, like... Yeah. You can never stop it. You can do this. That kind of stops it. Anyway, where are we, uh, where are we going? Vroom. Let's check our walkthrough, because... Let's yeah. Wonderling. Okay. When you're ready to continue the game's story, you want to hop on your dragon. Uh, so, the central continent. You see that central continent with, like... See the, like, white triangle with a dot? The KKK hat? The yeah. You want to land in the castle up in those mountains. Nice. It's a statue of a woman with a pure-hearted smile. See a little room by the entrance, Dad? What do you think it's for? Ha ha ha. It's weird. Well, I'm a sort of breathy, though I'm not ha, doing anything. Ha ha ha. You might want to go into those little... There are side rooms there you can go into. Look, Dad, there's a cloud underneath us. I've never been up this high before. Are uh, they, like, down down there? Yeah, like, right where Devson was talking about it. You can tell because of the ah, local rats. Ah, okay. Feels incredible. Can't imagine how they built something so huge on top of a mountain. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, the classic Dragon Quest. You gotta pay attention because, yeah. No. <laughs> That's why I cared, because the Zenithian armor was in that room. <laughs> the armor that the legendary hero used is right here. It's bigger than the kid himself, but I guess it shrinks. And okay. we don't want to come to a stick again. So you keep well away from it. Got it? Get out of here. Uh, I guess you gotta beat him up, I don't... You're very defiant for one who should be left soulless. You deserve what's coming. Yeah. Snake to armor. Ooh. Because he has arms, huh? <laughs> yeah, snake arms. Mmm. <laughs> uh, we can probably cassap. I don't know how necessary that is, but hey. I can't imagine that this guy is actually that hard, but, you know. He's only guarding the legendary armor of the hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. they, put their, 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 they put their strongest soldier in charge of this sacred task. Don't worry about it. What luck! What luck! Wow. How lucky. Alright, your son gets me real overpowered. That armor's really good. Yeah. Oh, in the bag. Well, I probably didn't go in the bag. I probably went in someone's inventory, because that's how Dragon Quest works, but... No, that shit went in the bag. Alright. Yeah. Pretty good. What's really good about it isn't just that it has defense, it also is resistant to spells. Yeah. So. 
Which is just, you know, everything. Yeah. Mini metal. Ah, oh, thank God Surfwear is here. Ah, oh, oh, phew, thank, thank God, God it wasn't a fucking ticket. Tombola ticket. We haven't gotten a Tombola ticket in ages. It's almost like they've realized how shitty it is and stopped giving them out. We've probably missed a TNT board somewhere, but also I don't know that I give a fuck. The rewards seem kind of shitty. I'll, I'm gonna double check to see if there's even a good TNT reward real quick. There probably is once. Enter your board. What are you doing loitering about here? The press session has begun already. Hurry up and get inside. Oh, this is a spook. It's all this then. Nothing good. Alright. <clears throat> Looks like he thinks we're part of the following. What is this place? It's full of really strange looking people. Hey. Conquer pants. Long live the great paste and long live Mata. <gasps> what a gasp. What the hell's going on here? The fuck do you want me to go? Seem rather strange. Everyone here should be without a soul, and yet you. You really seem like. Hmm. I like this. You shouldn't be here. How'd you get in? Some Mandrake Marauders. Oh, well, these guys probably aren't that scary, so. They might be more scary than the Snake ch Armor. If only because there's two of them. Alright, fuck him up. Nice. I got rid of both of them. I am Mata. I am the governing of this temple on behalf of the god king Korol. There you are, Madison. You probably can see this clear as black and white, but I am your mother. Oh, Madison, how much you've grown since we last met. How much I've wanted to meet you again after all these years. Your father, Pankras, was always such a serious, tedious man. More of a pawn than a king. Which brings me to something I need to say to you. Would you care to listen? Sure. Excellent. Do you ever vow to serve under the God King Karol, just as I, your mother, have vowed? Uh, no. What is it? You don't wish to hear such things? Yeah. But you said before you would listen. What a pity. In this way you resemble your father. Your father, Pankras, is always such a serious, tedious man, more of a pawn than a king. No. You're right, there's no point in talking such matters. However, do you ever vow to serve under the God King Mata? No. If you insist on going against the God King Karol, you were saying you're willing to stand against your own mother. Yes. If you feel that way, then am I correct in thinking I suspect I am not, in fact, your mother? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> See through my imposting. Very good. They're correct. Your mother is no longer a part of this world. Oh, could have seen it coming. I am Great Priest Furs. Serving with the God King Karol. I will remove your soul and you will be like every other people here. Ah, oh, it's, it's the queen just, now. It's just a Gigantes. All right. Well, it's a pink Gigantes. I, I guess now. that's correct, but we also fought something that was bigger than the, like a fucking building, so I really don't think. Yeah. This is... Yeah, I will. I will admit that a Gigantes seems rather unimpressive compared to Bjorn, the biggest monster in the entire series. But you know, <laughs> just you know. Yeah. There's only one monster in the entire series that I think is comparable to him in size. And I, that's Rapthorn's second form, but even though I think that's a little smaller. Is 
Let's see here. Maybe the secret boss at 11? I don't know. He's pretty big. Try boom. I don't think she's really doing anything else, so, uh... If you don't think... I mean, she's already done her sap, and she's not gonna do anything else, then, yeah, probably the dragon staff is fine for the rest of the fight. <laughs> I, I think just you, buff. once you use okay. it, you commit to that, but... That's fine. Madison might actually... Oh, no. Debson has cut off, yeah. But... I hit the attack. God damn it. I don't know which is the stupider name for that move. The English version, which is Puff, or the Japanese version, which is simply Bee Dragon. Uh. Why'd you use that when I was already gonna heal myself, dickhead? Thanks. Oh wow. I was... was not expecting that. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for attacks. Fuck it. We're probably good. Thank you. Does insulate only protect from fire or ice based spells? Okay, yeah. It's, yeah, insulate should work well on him because he is breathing sometimes on you. She, I guess, because it is Queen Furs. Eleven. Okay, yeah, uh-huh, that's right. Insulate is, Insulate is really busted, but it only works on a few things. <laughs> it seems to work on fucking everything. It only works on breath attacks, I think. Well, actually, no, I think in this game it's pretty generous and it works on all fire and ice. That's what it says. In future titles, they make it so it only works on breath attacks, which makes it slightly less good, but still pretty good. Somehow... Madison's doing more damage than Debson. I guess because Debson has the Zenithian sword. Zenithian, uh, he doesn't actually have the Zenithian sword equipped right now. I think you actually have the metal sword on him right now. But I think the metal sword does more damage. Like, I'm pretty sure that it got unequipped. Yeah. It doesn't... I... I think you do have more damage on the Metal King sword, although so the... I think the Zenithian sword has, like, a hidden extra modifier against, like, certain monsters, but I don't know exactly. I'll give it a try. That seemed to do less. Okay. Well, Queenie, uh, you're not really uh, having a great time of it, are you? The Zenithian Sword is primarily useful because uh, in the late game of Dragon Quest games, monsters like to buff themselves, and Disruptor Wave is very good. For yes. That. You'll heal, right? Thank you. Not necessary. 
Nothing even tries to attack Gudian, I've noticed. They don't want to bother. Nah. He very rarely gets hit. Who knows, it might be the benefit of being the only character in the party on Fight Wisely, which is the use cheater AI mode. Basically. Oh shit! That did more damage than the fire breath. Do that. Yeah, can can you rake them with your claws a little more often, Donna? No, more fire breath. Hey, well we won. That took a while. Yeah, took a bit. Welcome to fucking HP bloat. Thanks, that Wards. Happens. I cannot believe that for me it is already the checkmate. But even you are not strong enough to defeat God King. Long live Coral. Uh, or... Damn, I don't. I don't want to fucking play Borderlands Three. God King Tyrene. Ugh. What's going on? What happened? It's just a stone statue. It's the spitting image of Deborah. Don't we have like a magic spell for this? Uh, the yeah, you broke. should be able to. You know, totally. Your dot. Oh no, the staff did break. You're right. All right. Um, to save yourself some time, uh, you're supposed to examine uh, one of the four tiles. Specifically, kind of where he was standing, uh, and that unlocks the secret staircase for you. That statue almost looks like it's alive. Hang on, I've seen a statue like this before. I know it just—it looks just like you when you were a statue. Does that mean? Is that soldier a monster? That means his temple is. Hmm. Why should we be soulless? That's a bit of a weird thing to say. Perry. Contra pants. Yeah. Is this, uh, is this Slavery Island? This is Slavery Island. You're correct. This is, uh, this is what you were building that whole time. <laughs> Yay. I'm glad it got finished, I guess. I, I mean, you were a stone statue for a while. Several years, you know. Took a while, but they got there. They sure did. That guy's up there. There's not much, I think, like, talking to any of these guys is just a free trip to fighting them because none of them like you. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder why they wouldn't like me. Hey, Metal Dragon, does that give us so much experience as a Metal Slime? Fuck no. Wink. It has a bunch of fucking defense, though. I mean, it had a bunch of defense. I guess it had a lot of bunch of defense when the dungeon I was fighting it in before... For the time, I don't know. We're using the metal sword, which is strong against metal enemies, so, uh... It could be. I just remember, like, when I was fighting those metal dragons before, it was, like, comparatively low to everything else I was fighting, so I was like, yuck. Oro bosses. Okay. You know, does Metal Slash from Smash Bros. do more damage if you're wearing the metal suit? It could. Because I know it's an insta-kill if you use Kaklang. Fucking guy has leaves? Ugh. I, like, forget how generous they were for enemies in the DS era game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. All of them want to fight for some reason. It's a stupid snake charmer that died in like two hits. Here he is. He, the guy they left in charge of the armor. <laughs> Ugh. Da -da -da -dun -dun -dun. Okay, but like, no offense. Uh, they should have put the fucking gigantes in front of the armor. Surprise! The game they doesn't know. even make you comment on the fact that your wife's a statue. I don't know. The, the game doesn't. Give, apparently, Madison doesn't fucking care. Uh, I have children now. It's okay. Madison is like thinking in his head, like I made a mistake marrying this woman. She's a statue now. Honestly, maybe for the better. Cobra Claw. Oh, that's a monster weapon through and through. Probably. Not that it probably matters, but I guess you could equip it to Saber. <laughs> He's here, but... Ugh. That's pretty good. Uh Snake, well, there's an enemy that drops those. Casino does a better job of doing it. Yeah. Hmm, nice. It also feels really, really fucking weird to be to have like a Dragon Quest game where one of your characters doesn't have Metal Slash and Dragon Slash. <laughs> those are freaking staples. But it's like, maybe uh, maybe abilities didn't exist until 6. So, I don't know. Place is really hard to get around. I wonder why they made it this way. Don't the monsters get lost? <laughs> if they make it sucky to navigate, it means people leave them the fuck alone. They know how to navigate it. Boss. Uh, we know you use that logic. We have no fucking clue how to navigate it. <laughs> Pretty much. Ruinous sh shield. I don't know if you want to equip a ruinous shield. That sounds kind of cursed. Watch out, there's more than meets the eye. <laughs> it's set on the item. All right, ruinous shield. Let's take. Mm, oh, no wow. defense. Okay, I don't need to look this up to know what it, what that does. Never mind. I guess I could still look it up. Maybe it does something other than zero defense. It's the uh, it's the Rough Rider shield. I want to know, like, is there a benefit to this thing? Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. In this game, no. It just sets your defense to zero. However, in future games, when there's alchemy, you can alchemize it and turn it into the best shield. So. <laughs> oh. But in this game, it does literally nothing. Well, not the best best shield, but like the second best shield. The Metal King shield is what it becomes through alchemy. Metal King shield is like always the second best one. They always stick some, like, fucking legendary shield somewhere that's slightly better, but... Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Ah. Well, what a time for the thing to go out. There we go. 
Good old Discord. Just look at a little bit. Need the share screen back, but you know, it's fine. Hmm. Boop, boom. Alright, time to do some bag organization. We don't need this lingerie in our inventory for no reason. Ever, really. <laughs> it's not even good. Prayer ring's neat, but we don't need it. Uh, it's entirely pointless, actually. Prayer ring's benefit is that it acts like magic water. But, uh... We have elf and That's not necessary. <laughs> Given the... Fuck ton of elven elixirs. <laughs> Does she need all these fucking staffs? I don't even remember what they all do. The lightning staff is like zap, I think. Yeah, that one's bad. Or I think it is. Mostly. That's just a shit ton of money, though. Um, Dragon staff just had... Let's her deal damage, but do nothing else for the rest of combat. Which is useful. And the, the other one, fuck if I remember. It's something marginally useful. It might be Zing, I don't remember. So I don't steal his top hat. That's rude. Alright. You have more need for egg so leaves. Yeah, you, you you sure do put your your leaf in a different place. Oh wait a minute. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. I love that it has text for it, though. Yeah, that actually made me laugh quite quite good. Madison takes the leaf and puts it in a different place in his bag. He feels like it. Game, game's kind of a fucking bastard. <clears throat> also take the egg just sold do. Why not? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, how many leaves you got? Only one. Yeah, let's grab another. Might as well overload their inventory. I mean, if you fill it up with shit, then it doesn't get filled up with shit. Exactly. But, uh... It's like that easy. But then our monster's inventory gets filled with shit. <laughs> so you still I don't need care if they get things. filled with shit. I know, but you still have to go find items all the fucking time. Tell us this. Oh. Huh. Sure, why not? Uh, it might do something like if you die, it insta reses you? I don't know. So that sounds like. Sure, I'll give one to both my kids. Diam Diamond. Okay, let's see. Ah. Oh. Well, that's less good. Does <laughs> it do? It does prevent you from dying. It only affects uh, insta kill moves, though. Mm. So if you would sus if you would die to something like whack, it takes the place of you dying. Neat. Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. She didn't need like the extra space that much anyway. But like you know, there you go. Everyone's hooked up. A skeleton. My dear little sister Maria, I'm afraid my days are numbered. All I can do now is hope. My hope is that you alone will be happy. That's kind of fucked. You knew that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess Maria's married now, but yeah. Yeah. You know? It's what it is. Surprised there's not more skeletons. That's a Dundebson. See, this, 
See, this is another example where it's like, if Donna had that as like, and she could use her magic stat for it, it would be an excellent move on her. The problem with, like, if, if she uses the Lightning Staff is it doesn't use her Magic Staff, it uses the Lightning Staff's Magic Stat, which is worse than hers. Uh. Where do I set everyone to show no mercy? Where do you? If you want them to do that, that's... Oh, no, no. I said, when did I? Because I, I didn't, but now suddenly they're all show no mercy. I don't know. I don't Maybe know a you monster are, they're not there to disturb him. I mean, remember, monsters can forcefully ta change your tactics. Sometimes. If you want them to not be doing that, then that's easy to fix. I mean... It works right now, up, but for yeah, a boss fight, battles, you definitely yeah. wouldn't want that. <laughs> Speaking, Speaking of... of boss fight, here's the guy. Alright, it's a miss tactics. Yeah. And then you want to control your guys, but then I Goodian should just be on fucking uh fight wisely so he can cheat. It's good to have a healer that cheats. Yes. Where's our Yggdrasil drinkies? Alvin elixirs, you mean? Yeah. There they are. Goodian really fucking needs one. Yeah. Jesus. Donna probably doesn't need one, but we'll give him one anyway. They're easy enough to get. Yeah, it's right. easy enough to go back and buy them if we were running out. You are surprising, surprising yeah, me that cool. you came this far. This is meaning that you defeat the queen of my sets, the great fighter Fez. Yeah, he was a great fighter, all right. And it seems the meddlesome legendary hero has my dismay has been snap born. Perhaps this is as Grandmaster Nimso is foretelling. But now, snap! It all comes to an end. Are you are you Professor Snapped off? It's because he's a crocodile. It's supposed to be snapping his jaws. But yeah. like, ugh. I dictate the history of the world onwards from this day. Farmers from the wagon summons. are summoned. So let the end game begin. Now I will battle the legendary hero and his skin. Final boss fight. Eight party members for this fight, baby. That's not a fucking joke. <laughs> Wait, this is the final boss. It's not, it's not the final boss fight, but you do have all eight of your fucking party members what in a, the fight. Okay, alright. I mean, most of them are <laughs> useless, but sure. Yeah, I don't know fucking why. <coughs> this is actually a really easy fight, because the dumbass summons all of your wagon members. It was just, uh, you, you know... They're they're invincible right now, they just attack from the back lines, but... <laughs> that's nice of them. Or at least that's my understanding of how it works. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll sap. And we'll kabuff. This is gonna take 30 minutes, because also- No, it's not gonna capsule on them. Not affected. Okay. He's not a- He's not a guy who can be sapped. Boy, I hope my back row starts casting spells. They didn't do jack shit. Right, they didn't do shit. Maybe it they only the jump in if someone that, dies. Maybe that's what it is. It says in the walkthrough that they're supposed to be helping, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't really need them. Oh, okay. It says which gives you access to all eight, so maybe you're allowed to, like... You're allowed to switch around your party more? I don't fucking know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Fuck them. They're bad. Not a terribly difficult fight, though. Think bounce will work? I mean, he looks like he could cast a spell. 
That's what I'm thinking, so I'm just gonna set up bounties. Alright, well, there goes all your buffs and your bounces, <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, well, alright. Uh, we'll just reset them up again. I mean, I don't uh, know. What do you want from me? I'd be using oomph on her, by the way. That's the actual thing you should be doing with her. So you actually do damage. Like, I don't yeah. Know what you're doing fucking yeah, bounce is bad in this scenario. Because <laughs> he's going to keep wiping it. And oomph, is, he's going to wipe that too, but at least you get some damage off it. A cold, cold breath. breath. Oh yeah, we definitely want that insulate. Yep. C -c -c cold breath is the second strongest ice move uh, that exists. Oh. The only one I believe that's stronger is Nivelheim, but Nivelheim is an exclusive skill of one final boss in one of the Dragon Quest games. <laughs> so. C -c -c cold breath might as well be the strongest ice move. Okay. It's like I don't really want to waste our shit. Well, it's up to you what you want to do. The Dragon Staff is a fucking commitment. Once it's there, you cannot do anything on it. He used the flowing dress on him. I'd show him. Guess I might as well oomph. I think I'd probably I mean, try setting up a bounce. Fuck it. Are both uh, Madison and Debson oomph right now? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> He'll definitely get rid of it. At some point, yeah. I, I haven't seen him cast any spells that Bounce will work on. Cold Breath won't be uh, blocked by that. So, ah, that'd work, though. That was worth it. You're a lot more cautious than I am with these boss fights. I just send it a lot more. I'm like, Gudian's got it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. You fell for the oldest trick in the Dragon Quest book, and that's why I never cast the bounce. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. All right, good shit. That's why I never cast bounce. Oop. It's so I accidentally clicked. Annoying. I accidentally clicked flee. Well, I didn't get punished for it. Yeah. Fucking it, it blocks positive spells. Too. That makes sense, but it's still stinky. I like, I always think to myself, why don't I use bounce again? And then once per game, I do that and I'm like, oh right, that's why I don't use it. It's a stupid spell. It does all right damage to counter uh, hit them, but like, eh. Uh, Goody is now constantly trying to heal himself, so he's not really fighting wisely now, is he? I guess he fell for it, too. Yeah. <laughs> it lasts a while! Can we cast full heal on him? Also, why doesn't it? Man, this game is actually kind of almost generous in a sense with it. Bounce normally breaks after one use. Apparently it does not. Not in this game. I mean, Jeez. fuck it. Might as well become a dragon now. I wonder if, uh... Him doing his stupid disruptive wave cancels that as well. Oh, well, he can do those, I guess. 
Cool that he has a free crit button. Yeah, it's fine. It's been a while since I've used Ensolotl. It's always hard to keep track of what things you have and don't have when a boss has Disruptive Wave. Well, now Nothing. you don't have anything. So. That's the uh, easiest way of doing it. Hmm. Um, but it's also something that you have to deal with uh, for probably the rest of the game. I think every boss that's left will probably have Disruptive Wave. Maybe not, uh... Lodja. You have to fight his ass again because you didn't kill him before. Um, and he didn't have it in his previous fight, so he might not have it this time. But without a doubt, the final boss has it because that is 100% every Dragon Quest boss has disruptive waves, so you can't set up against them. Yeah. Ow. He's not really attacking. I don't want to set up bounce anymore. Because it's not terrible on someone like, I don't know, Gudian. I doubt any of this shit works. Doubt what works? Oh, you can't, like. S oh, yeah. Bosses are generally immune to status effects like snooze, dazzle, yada, yada, yada. Which is why those spells suck. <laughs> yeah. The only fights where I'd want to use them, and it doesn't work. I mean, it works on most, like, mini bosses, but, like, <clears throat> not main bosses. even know if when she's using the fire breath that's better than her using her whip it's better okay the claws are definitely better but it's just you know. yeah she doesn't use the claws very often she she likes the belchies uh thanks for not hearing me i guess goodian bro bro big bro uh, oh there he right goes now. Okay. Yeah, he just acted after Carol this time. Yeah, I guess that's true. Coral. Coral? Coral? Uh, we'll full heal Gudian. Because Gudian's not fast enough to full heal himself. Thank you. Gudian being a slow healer is actually good in most cases because it uh, yeah. lets him cheat the AI, but sometimes it's bad. Like, here's a chance where I'd want to use full heal. Yeah. Which lets Goody an attack, or cure anyone who gets hurt. Okay. Yeah. It went faster than me that time. Rude. Yeah, that does put her out of dragon mode. That's almost kind of beneficial, though, to an extent. Yeah. Because it means that whenever the buffs go down, she's allowed to reapply them. I like how he sets up his own bounces if we're using fucking magic on him. Sometimes you have... Sometimes your party member... No, not even. I was going to say, sometimes you have something like uh, Nera in your party but you physically couldn't have Nera in this fight. So, uh... <laughs> yep, you mean know. all... You could have an offensive magic monster or something, but... I mean, Donna has a bunch of offensive magic. She just doesn't fucking... Like... It's not worth using enough. No. 
because magic kind of sucks in this particular entry. It's always up in the air, depending on the entry. Magic never misses, that's its benefit, but... Acts rarely miss either, though, so I don't know. Not improved by oomph, damn. I bet the claws improved by oomph. Oh, the claw absolutely would. Uh, unfortunately, the blistering, or the fucking breath is probably being affected by the staff's magic stat. Black. Thanks, dickhead. Morbid curiosity. I wonder if I can find out how much health this guy has. I just want to know <coughs> how insane... Well, uh, and... you were saying? Yeah, I'm just curious, though, like, his stat block. I want to know how ridiculous... 4200 HP. Oof. It's a lot. It's not as much as I thought it was. It felt like 42,000. Oh, hey, okay, we learned so... to spell multi-heal. Does that heal multiple party members? It does. Too bad I went on fucking award. <laughs> it is not a multi-full heal. It is a multi-regular heal. But it does heal multiple things. Is there a multi-mid heal? There... I think there is a version that is mid-heal equivalent, yes. There's never- I don't think there's a single spell that heals all party members <clears throat> full, though. Yes, I am. That's you. Kerplunk. Kerplunk does. Anyway. This I was not expecting. Perhaps it is what is dubbed destiny. This is just as our god, Grandmaster Nimzo, is predicting. Your mother is in Underworld of Nadiria with Grandmaster Nimso, Madison. If you are wishing to aid her, you must to Nadiria. But there your kin will be snap destroyed. I will nonetheless open for you the pathway to Underworld. <laughs> well, why? Well, well, thank you, I guess. What's you you nice are not you? obliged to do this. <laughs> Grandmaster Nimso, grant me my final strength. Oh wow! Why? It's not even you who who does it. It's it's the the lead himself. Dude, dude, Nimso is so confident that he'll win. He's just like, come to me. Nothing happens. I am not understanding. This is correct, incorrect. Ah, Laja. Ooh, ha <laughs> ha. Think you could be the great ruler forever, did you? Yoi, Laja! For what do you speak to me in such a manner? Aha! You still do not comprehend, comrade. You are only ruler for showing, Kettle, for to collect together the foolish humans. Now your job is finished. This cannot be, Grandmaster Nimzo. I implore. Death. Warg! Ha! Huh. The useless are useless in the end, no? Madison and friends, now you should do as you are pleasing. <laughs> you wish strongly the pain in future. Ha 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 ha. I've seen more in the Ouija games recently. Lodger talks like exactly like Fawful. That's what I'm it's thinking. Like it's the circle of life! Oh! It's the circle of life! And it rules us all. All right. <laughs> Show that shit in the bag where it belongs. Circle. I'm just curious, like, because that's an accessory. Uh, Is that what we have to give to uh, Wifey? Uh, restores HP, strong as well as fighting, as well as fighting. Interesting. Uh. Mm -hmm. The ring of stars. Okay, that's pretty shit, though. Uh, along with it, it's required to open the portal estuary sanctuary that leads to Nadiria. So it's just a required item so you can get to yeah. Nadiria. Where do I go? But, um, after this fight, retrace your steps at, back out of the dungeon where the statue of your wife is for a scene. 
When you regain control, you'll be back in, back in Gotha Castle. And then you need to do a couple things, and we'll get there when we get there. Uh, but you just need to go back to your wife. For now. I love you, wife. Through the store. Sir, we really could have just had a direct pathway. No, you must go all around! Why did we put this stupid wall here so that it was just more difficult to get around? To dissuade the humans. You're dissuading me, your highness! I don't get paid off for this shit. Uh, almost. Why do you have warp hole staircases? Just down the staircase and then you're good to go. Preach. Mysterious voice is coming from the circle of life. Is it Rafiki? Madison. 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 Yeah. Mada, Madison, can you hear me? Oh, you can hear me. You can hear the voice of your mother at last. I can't tell you how much I would love to meet with you and see you all grown up, Madison. But that is something I cannot wish for. You mustn't come to Nadiria, Madison. Even the legendary hero would not be strong enough to take on Grandmaster Nimzo. You are, you have a beautiful wife and children, Madison. You must forget about your mother now, and get on with your own life. I won't allow the Grandmaster to enter your world, even if I have to give my life to stop him. Now please go! Your dear wife is waiting for you right there! Goodbye, my Madison. Do you think that was really Grandma's voice we could hear? She even said the legendary hero can't take on Grimnaster Nimzo. But surely that can't be right. Grandma sounds so kind and gentle. Oh, I wish I could speak to her more. There's so much I want to talk to her about. Oh, I really wish I could meet Grandma. Perry! <laughs> Contrapants! They could have really given each monster, like, even two lines. They did. They gave the apple two lines. They did not give, uh, not give the slime two, not two lines. Yeah, but they made him the best fucking monster in the game. <laughs> That's right. The statue is bathed in a gentle light. For no real reason. Just is. The circle of life, presumably. It's probably Mata's power leaking through it or whatever the fuck. Who cares? It works. <laughs> Where am I? How did I end up here? Oh, look at you. The statue was Deborah all along. After 10 Ooh. years, Deborah's finally brought back to life. Pretty sick. <laughs> That's it. That's that's your scene. You don't even there get like go. a scene where you're just like my children. So I was a stone statue for ten years. I don't know much about it. Still, it's by the by now. <laughs> that's where Shark <laughs> seeing you two again. It got so big all of a sudden. Mum. Mum. I'm sorry to I'm trouble, sorry to trouble you. Your, Majesty. your Majesty. But Prince Albert requests your presence. <laughs> Ooh, thought I was okay. sick with the double double talk illness. Uh, for only a couple couple attempts. Mom, Mom I I. Are you messing around for Madison? Hurry up and get going. Is it really true that Mom spoke even more harshly in the past? You must have been pretty brave to agree to marry her than Dad.
order of operations. Must speak to Prince Albert, then wife. Important that it be in that order for some reason. Yeah, Prince Albert is just, you know. It's Princey Prince Albert. He's my husband. Away from home, thought I would as a slave. No, that's not. Oh, that's wrong, a different wrong guy. Ah, I know it's rotten to me calling you away while you're having a family moment and all that, but oh wait, this is you, right? This is this is this guy. This is Kronk. Yeah. <laughs> Still somehow. <laughs> well, there's something I really must ask you. So I think I'll come right out and say it, eh? Straight to the point, if you will. Medicine. Are you planning on going to Nadiria? Yes. But, no, I mean, you can't. I've heard the stories about Queen Mata speaking to you through the circle of life, you know. You should listen to your mother and reconsider the whole idea. Ah, there you are, Madison, old thing. I really must ask something of you. Come out and say it straight to the point. This is the same dialogue. <laughs> now you must speak to your wife, Madison. It was important you speak to me first. <laughs> For my insightful <clears throat> commentary. I know you're planning to go into Deira to rescue your mother, Madison. And that's all well and good, but you've got some nerve making a decision like that without asking me first. I just ten years apart, made you forget how our relationship works. Looks like I'll just have to stay right by your side from now on to be sure to remind you. Okay. Alrighty. Oh. I'm the legendary hero, aren't I? Let's go then. Let's go and make mincemeat out of an the evil monsters and villains out there. Well, you can tell I'm fucking old when I'm just like, let's go make Minecraft out of all the evil monsters. <laughs> That's why I was born. That's my destiny. Your mom would be my grandma, wouldn't she, Dad? I'd love to meet my grandma. Man, dude, they really... Your son is such a fucking anime protagonist. He's so lame. <laughs> Yeah, I love him. <laughs> All right. All right, now you have to Now you have to go to Patty the party planner to get any of those back in your party. <laughs> They're out of your party unless Why? you go talk to her. I don't That's fucking know. So stupid. <laughs> right. No, I mean Senor Majesty. Senor Albert, he is a wise man. What he says to you, maybe he's right. But for me, I know forget your father's dying wish. He has to find your mother. So if you're going somewhere now, your Uncle Sancho, he go with you wherever it is. <laughs> well, you ca he can if you want, but you know there's only four party members. It's a tough sell, Sancho. <laughs> and apparently, you're uh, you're pretty bad. He's fine. I mean, he's better than half the monsters in the game, but that's not saying like a ton. Uh... You do not want to be zooming right now, I don't think. I just want to go to the front of this place. Okay, I, I don't think that really makes it faster, but if that's Anithia? what you want to do. It, this place is called Gotha. Yeah, that's what it was. I, I think this is slower than if you just walked there, but it's fine. <laughs> Alright, in, in here, up the stairs to the left. See way faster. I'm That's Monty. Monty. Different guy. You're looking for the bunny girl. Look at Patty's party planning place. If you want to pick up new members for your party, this is the place to be. Do I want to take along my wife? Hmm. It's up to you. She's lower. She's she needs to fucking get her level back on check. The biggest problem, if you bring uh, your wife, your son, and your daughter, you don't have Gudian, the overpowered ass healer. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Still want her here. Yeah, I mean it's just like. The question that you have to ask is, like, how do you want to handle the party? 
you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what I did, what I remember doing as a kid, is I dropped my fucking daughter because she's not that good a party member. <laughs> Here she's actually pretty good though because she has oomph. So and she turned her into a dragon. Yeah, she could be all right. Give oh, if you want her, you have to actually add her. Yeah. There we go. This reaches across the counter and gives me my child. There you go, have a child. Yay, thanks, Dad. I won't let you down. Not sure what I was doing back there. Brilliant. It'll be fun traveling around together again, Dad. I can imagine walking up to me. I suppose I'll just grind and bear it. Alrighty. You gotta get their equipment in order. At least Deborah's. Uh, do they keep theirs? Oh, for fuck's sake! They they lost their items, they kept their equips. Deborah has nothing. She also lost all our staffs, like, oh my lord, why would you do this to me? It even ripped away his Zenithian sword, didn't it? Sure did. Yeah, because it wasn't equipped. <laughs> what is this do? So, the Circle of Life, it restores HP every time you take a step on the overworld. And it also restores 10 HP every turn in battle. Which is mediocre. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's alright. It would have been a great accessory mm. earlier in the game. Unfortunately, this late in the game, it's pretty bad. Uh, if you think that she can equip the golden tiara, uh, Deborah, then this is fine to make that exchange so that they can both have good headgear. Maybe? <laughs> that's just the question, because, like, there's not that much good headgear for female characters. That's the problem. There you go. Uh, All right, worth it. Plus, it means the daughter gets the happy hat, which is cute. Yeah. Probably your best bet for her is going to be uh, not that. Your best no. bet for her is going to be the flowing dress, probably. Think so? Uh, maybe the Legend of Mantle, she's allowed to have that, but... Oh shit, that is like, better. Launcher Ray, I don't actually think any of the Launcher Ray armor is actually that good. She, does, she will want that Gringham whip, that's her best weapon right now. Terrible. It's a continuous issue that uh, you'll encounter with uh, any female party members trying to figure out. Uh, sh only she can equip the Circle of Water. That's a free accessory for her. No other character can even equip it, so. Is it good? Well. I don't know. It's free. Are you going to put any other accessory on her? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, that's the best. I think that's the best you're gonna do. Daughter has the best item <clears> that she could have. That's the princess dress. But like, since you know, hmm. you want the ruinous shield? The only yeah, if she could equip that, then that it could feasibly be better, but. That's monster equipment, I think. <laughs> Terrible. Where do I... Where did she get Diamond Achilles, out of curiosity? Because that would be maybe better, depending on your preference. Double attacking. 
It... In the stairway to Zenithia. Well, that should have been possible. Hmm. That is... So we're finally going to Nadiri after all this traveling. We're finally going to meet this Grandmaster Nibs. Oh, that was Debson. Ah, okay. Yeah. What is this Nadiri place like, Dad? What? No, I'm not scared. I just want to know what kind of monsters I'm going to have to protect you from. That's all. I couldn't believe it when I saw how big the babies have grown. It makes me feel so sad. I wish I could have been there to see them grow up. I wish they in great situations. I'm still as young as I was all those years ago. Nay. 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 So, yeah, I don't Nay. know. I guess we I guess we missed the Diamond Achilles in um the Stairway to Zenithia. Can we go back? Probably. Um, is it good? I'm just like trying to figure out if it's actually worth going out of our way to get. Because like there's a case where the whip might just be better. Well, I... whip only. I mean, it's good to have both. It's good to have both. Yeah. Um. So the stairway to Zenithia is. Where is this on the map? It's Central Continent. Do the souls. It can only be reached by riding the flying carpet. Since Zenithia itself is sunk into the lake, the tower's fallen into disrepair. However, it still contains magma staff. Need to reach the mineshaft leading to the sunken castle. So, I, let's see here. Where would that imply? Central continent. Do the souls. You have to... Okay, it actually said something about uh, Fairy Palace. Due north of the tower is the lake. Okay, so it is... So, do you know where the Fairy Palace was? Do you know uh, is that in the other world? No. Uh, the Fairy Palace is south. Just... I'll explain. South. It's on the central continent. Uh, so, like... Leftwards, need to go further inland. Um, yeah, it's that tower right there. So it's somewhere in that dungeon. It it, it is not specified exactly where. It's just somewhere in there. Nice. Oh, uh, this place sucks. Especially because Deborah also sucks. I mean, Deborah needs to fucking level. You wouldn't want to. Oh my god, he got clanged. Yeah. Hmm. Just fucking flee. He can't move. He'll. You'll probably get a free flee off it, unless you actually want to sit here wailing on him. That lasts a few turns. I fucking hate fighting enemies that do this. I need my experience. I did it. Yeah, I wish I could tell you where it is in here. It's just somewhere. Okay. Oh my god. See, this is a time where you wish you had Metal Slash on any of your fucking characters. Because yes, it would insta-kill an enemy that could clang. It's like, why even do it? Especially because, like, the... I can't justify putting that on any enemy. Because it's like, why? The point of the Hippo Block MS is like to block attacks for its allies, you know. But when it's Kaklaying, it can't even do that. Yeah. I 
Ah, oh, could be this. That was fast. There it is. Boom. Nat 20, that shit. It's in someone's inventory. It might be Deborah's inventory. Probably Madison's. So it's like substantially less attack, but it might do more damage. Maybe. Against a boss. Let me, let me think like... What is it? I'm just doing some dirty math here real quick. I just want to make sure that like, against the boss theoretically it would. So she has like around 100. Like, times 0.75 times 2. Okay. It's marginally more powerful. Like, barely. But it, 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 it would technically do more. I bought like 16 strength. Alrighty. Progression. Uh, since the game is really bad about explaining where to go and what to do. With all that out of the way, you're ready to continue with the story. Zoom over to Lofty Peak and hop in your ship. In a bit. Where's the save point? I don't want to go. Save point in like every town, basically. But... Yeah. Is there one in Lofty Peak? Lofty Peak has one. I don't know how accessible it is, because Lofty Peak is kind of a maze of a town, but it might be like right up the staircase, depending. No, that's where the inn is. Mm. There should be one somewhere here, though. Because we saved in Lofty Peak, I remember. Quiet here as usual, isn't it? Makes me... Yeah, it's here. It's the fucking priest symbol. Looks like it's on the ground floor. I mean, lots of people being asked here. I wonder how everyone is. One, two, three. Nope. Kind of that is boring. So many stairs do you suppose there are here? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, no, I see it. Okay. Go up the staircase, and then left. Down the stairs, left. This? It's hard to see that that's the church, but that's the church. Gotcha. Cool. I'm gonna go get some coffee, then we can get more done. Right. I think I'll call that... Actually, I won't call it an episode, because then we'd have to switch off. But yeah. yeah, I'll be back. I'll just grab coffee. You people know what the fast forward button is. Use it.
Ayo. Ayo. Have you heard about that Technoblade bullshit? Where people are just posting like a bunch of fucking scumass crap? Because he died? Like, what do you mean? Uh, con like, the thing that I posted about how people are uh, just posting content non stop, like, with yeah. just like yeah. eight videos a day talking yeah. about it? Yeah, that's right. Like, okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Boy, people are, uh, people are something else. Anyway, where are we going? See, the thing is, is like, that, yeah, you're, you don't want to be actually in Lofty Peak, but, um, <clears throat> you just needed to warp here because it's the closest location where you're actually going. Um, the thing is, if Technoblade was alive, he would probably make jokes about that. He'd find it funny. <laughs> oh, totally. Probably. Uh, alright, you want to get on your boat? Let's go due north. Keep going north. Is there anything else I want to do before I do this? The only thing you could do if you wanted is go get that cape for Madison. Unless you want to grind XP. Which uh, I don't want option. to do that. Do I want to go get more items? Uh, you could go over to Casino Land and make sure you have extra shit. You never know. It's possible I might need more. I used a lot of my Yggdrasil leaves in that fight. Yeah. It's up to you. There's only two major fights left. Hmm, I don't know if, uh, like, 12 of them is enough to get me through it. it I mean, you joke, but, like, it might not be. <laughs> These are long fights, so... Yeah. I mean, Bishop Lodger should be mostly a pushover. I don't think he's that much stronger than the last time we fought him, but, uh... Nimzo, on the other hand... <laughs> no, I want to get some packs of punches. These would actually be good to give to someone like, say, Madison. Give him something I to mean, do. they're they're basically uh, using um, the oof spell on yourself. That's basically what they do. Yeah. Oh, you can use them on other party members, though, right? Or is it just... just I... Your... I don't know if you can. I, I I never used these in previous LPs. I don't know how they work. I think they'd be good because they'd let you double oomph in a turn. I don't. It would let you use oomph more than once. I don't know if you can actually somebody who is already oomphed with it though. I don't think you can quadruple your attack. You well, might no, be, no, no. But what I mean is, like, one party member could use oomph, another could use packs a punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now that we have two oomphers, we could like do that, that, and then packs a punch, and that would just be. Pretty good. Yeah, and that would kind of get you going. Just fair enough. Um, you're going to get a item when you enter hell that is very, very good, and you will want to put on into someone's inventory. Right. Wow, talk about invigorating. Wow, that did fucking nothing. I don't think any of the rest of these characters need them. No. There are... I mean, there is like a... Uh, there's also a pretty significant dungeon as well. But it is basically just... I don't know if like we bosses. need this many elfin elixirs on our persons. They're not as useful as just like... The leaves. Well, you need like maybe one per party member, probably. Yeah. They're like a full MP restore, though. Yeah, but like, have we ever run out of MP during a fight where we started with full MP? You have uh, so much could... MP and barely. Okay. I'm gonna tell you, you could in the fight against Nimzo, because it is a two phase boss fight, and so it's two fo boss fights back to back with no break. Fair enough. All right. Can we ride the dragon from the boat? I... maybe? What, are you going to casino? Yeah. Grab some more leaves. Oh. Okay, that's... yeah, looking for the titty. Okay. It's pretty open, my guy. You can land on our boat. Fuck, I'll just use my zoomy spell. You can't zoom to the casino land. I can zoom closer. You can... Zoom to Nick Nakatori is an okay place. 
It's not the best, but it's okay. This um, place actually sucks because I, believe... I can't fly the dragon here. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't really think about that aspect. Uh, All right, here we go. I wasn't really sure, like, you know, how... I think it's that island due north. Just yeah. go, like, straight upwards. Like, that tiny island that doesn't have a marker. I think that's the guy. Yeah. You have to go to the tent. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You wouldn't even board the ship anyway. You just exchange... Oh, no, you actually have to now because all the fucking keep shopkeepers are... Because it's night time, I night. guess? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I can fix there, this. There's an inn right there, I think. Oh, TikTok. What a rare spell. I'm surprised you remembered that existed, because I sure as fuck didn't. <laughs> I thought it was a neat spell. I'm like, that's cute. It, like, never comes up. Oh, there you pinball, go. All right. What are you looking to buy? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Can you equip those twice to attack four times? No, because falcon knife earrings are a weapon, not an accessory. Mm. Despite the name, they are a weapon. Terrible. Not terrible. Good, good piece of gear, just a little weird. Um, Falcon knife earrings are unique compared to all other double attacking weapons in Dragon Quest. Uh, all other double attacking weapons do three quarters damage twice. Falcon knife earrings do full damage twice. But they just have really shitty attack. Mm. So there's a case where if your character has enough requisite strength, they are better with the falcon knife earrings than if they were using another double attacking weapon. I'll we'll just toss a couple more in the bag. I don't think we need, like, too many, but, you know, just in case. Yeah, this is a just, lucky recipient. You know, it's, it's, it's always... It's always preparing. As for Elfin Elixirs, we are... We're good. We're, we're good for the rest You're of the You're probably not, like, too far off of where you want to be. I think for Nimzo, you want to be, like, around 35-ish for Madison and... Like, at least 30 for your other party I, members. I guess we can go get that cloth. It'd be a good way to level up Deborah, at least. Where's that okay. at? That is north. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, dude. You're standing on a tent. I can't land on a tent. It should be... Keep going up. You shouldn't have turned. I just want to know examine why what this part of the map is that we've never discovered before. Uh, it's nothing. It's just mountains. What the hell oh, is that? A... We might have already been there. I don't know. Never discovered. Oh, there's something else new. What else is new? That cave? We've gone in that cave. Have we? Yeah, it's how we got down to Lofty Peak. Oh. Well, then what the hell is this? The, the fuck house. is this? Well, the house. Also, how many mini metals do you have? If you have enough, you might consider going and exchanging before we go into the final area. We, I haven't gotten a single one, and we were short, as far as I know. Yeah, we were short. It's three off. Ugh. That's neat. Aww, okay, that was a TNT ticket. We need to fill up their inventories again. Good. When the fuck did I get monster munchies? Very, very early on. Uh, 
Before oh, it's, you it's even not in my had access to my taming inventory. monsters. Not in my inventory. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's in that bag. Hmm. What else do you guys want? Uh. Never turned in the fucking tea set. Maybe that gives a mini metal. Now the tea set, it turns out it's just a knickknack. You drop it in the knickknackatory, and I don't. I can check the knickknackatory rewards, I guess. I don't think any of them are very good, but maybe some of them are mini metals. Knickknackatory. I say, old stick, stick, are you in the know? Yes. I see. Then I shouldn't say another word. Rumor has it there's a helmet somewhere in the world known as the Sun Crown. Apparently, it can keep you safe from kamikaze attacks. Would you believe it? That, uh, cool. That's snifty. How many monsters use kamikaze attacks? Not really. Uh, it's uh, those rock bombs, basically. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Oh, there's one. One. Um, so the Nick Nakatori does not have any rewards whatsoever. It's a fucking scam. Uh. Hey, we already commented that the Nicknackatorium is fucking terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's there. I mean, it's there so you can get those fucking knickknacks out of your inventory. <laughs> yeah, but they don't matter. <laughs> They're in the box, so who cares? Yeah. So we got to DM end another one. That was the main reason of going there, I guess. I guess, but they're not actually good, so it's fine. Oh, uh, it's, fuck you. You know, dragons notoriously don't like to land near mountains. Notoriously. Uh. Alright. Is this so, it? Uh, I don't think that one is it. It might be. I'm not gonna say no, but. Uh, I don't think that one's the one. No, nah, that's not it. This, this is, is the Pankras Dungeon. Yeah, that's the Pankras Dungeon. I believe it is uh, due west a little bit. You see that red dot kind of like in the white bit? Further. I think it's right there. I think that's the guy. Yeah. You need the ultimate key for that door. So this is the place. This door must not be moved. Okay. No problem. Oh, okay. okay. Rather evil looking. <laughs> yep, this is some of the new shit. There's a case as well for this dungeon in the sense that you get arguably one of the better weapons for Deborah, depending that on how much nice. of a gambler you are. Uh, you get Hella's Hammer in here as well. Uh, oh, do we get to whack? Hella's Hammer is a very powerful uh, hammer. It has a lot of attack, and it always crits if it hits. But as you can imagine, based on that description, it misses a lot. <laughs> so... I guess there's something to do. Up to, it's, it's up to. It's basically always up to the player whether or not you actually want to use it. Uh, the primary use for the Hell is Hammer in Dragon Quest games is for metal slime farming, because you're going to miss them anyway. Uh, yeah. So you might as well have boosted crit rate against them. Well, these enemies are getting whacked pretty good. I creamed them. Get that Deborah experience. Why was she gone for the whole portion of the fucking game? Because fuck you. You're not allowed to have her. Good to see the Arch Demon come back. Arch Demon. And the guide straight up the fucking walkthrough says, Don't even bother adding your wife because she's kind of bad. <laughs> I like that. That's what the walkthrough says. Like, Don't even <laughs> bother. No, you don't even bother. She's kind of bad. <laughs> Ouch. Feels fucking bad, man. 
Bianca had like the holy kid and everything. Just don't even add her. Not hey, her, her blood's it. good, but you know her herself, eh, mediocre. There's a case for Deborah. Deborah has like more attack, maybe, but like, it's like also, he's like basic. Basically, his statement was something along the lines of. Um, we have the fucking metal slime rider. It's just like it's not even close. Yeah. The guy was he crazy. Was like, he said straight up, um, "You're better off with." Just a good monster than whatever your wife is, probably. <laughs> Problem is, we have the best monster, so. Yep, and also it doesn't matter that Elf much if you decide you want him. Uh, the final boss works the same way as that crocodile fuckwad, so you can swap around your party during the fight. Oh, it's this thing again. Yeah, I don't know if we actually had one of these. I think we looked at this up before. Mm. Up the chart. Let me take a look. I think look. we had it. Okay. Or maybe we had it as a cloak. So, yeah, I think it was on a piece of armor or something. How this one works is um, it reduces the chance of snooze, fuddle, fizzle, and whack by hitting from hitting you by 75%. So basically it makes them never fucking hit you. But also Ugh. that's a little late in the game. Enemies aren't really using those much anymore. Right. That's terrifying. Ah, muddy hands notoriously summoning help. See, De oh. Deborah learned Fuddle. How could you, like, ask for a better party member? That's oh. nice hammer. Well? So, it does a, mat a metric fuck ton of damage when it hits. It's got a 3 out of 8 chance to actually hit, though. That's worth it. I mean, it really isn't, but I, you know... It, again, it's for metal slime grinding mostly. It's <laughs> because, like, logically speaking, the 3 out of 8 actually... Like, it doesn't apply in addition to the metal slime's dumb hit rate. It just... You take the metal slime's shitty hit rate. Ouch, it's alright. Just tripped a bit, that's all. Monsters here are really mean. It's like they're being controlled by something. This cave isn't far from Roundbeck, is it? We'll have to tell all the townspeople to steer well clear of this place. It's far too dangerous. They couldn't have gotten in. They needed an ultimate key. Well, we opened it now, so. Yeah, the door fucking relocks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> so. In case they get their hands on their own ultimate key. Yeah, uh, all they have to do is go defeat a fucking ancient demon god. Don't worry about it. Well, if they do that, then they need to be careful. Ooh, Kaswoosh. Now my recovery is as good as it can possibly be. <clears throat> oh, that's me. Monsters everywhere. Monsters nowhere to be seen. They're just trying to wind me up. Right, because we have Debson and Deborah, so it's like fucking with me. Yeah. Well, you could tell that that was a Deborah line because she was being snarky. That's true. I can see the Debson, sun trying to be snarky. Debson's a little optimistic boy. He doesn't fucking complain. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> His biggest complaint with this place is, it's dangerous. Some other people might come here and get hurt. He who seals away all monsters shall be bestowed my glorious man. Oh, these things are hideous. And that's what we really need to get in Fire Emblem. Like, we have all these sad children who are like, Oh, I don't want to fight anymore. Or, oh, I'm just angry and salty. Or, oh, I have a teddy bear. Why can't we just have, yeah, I want to kill things. That's I'm, me. I'm hopelessly optimistic. I'm too young to really <coughs> grasp 
what I'm doing. I could definitely see that being funny. Be careful, Dad. The monsters in here are really scary. I think, by the way... Um, if we're done here, we're leaving right away. Got it? I'm not taking no for an answer. I think you have to put the stupid stones on all these, like, stupid, like, all the faces. Fun. It seals away the monsters. Because that, uh, it just occurred to me when I read the stone plinth that said, he who seals the monsters will receive my mantle. Okay, I guess. There's there a critical hit. Panels. Nailed it. I like how she can equip the fucking hammer, too. Yeah, that's right. She's actually, like... She's the only human character that can equip it. Monsters can, but she's the only human. Click. Oh, boy. Does that hit all? Aw, oh, it does hit all. It's actually alright. Yes. Well, I wasn't sure because that could have been a group attack. Use the icebreaker on me. Does Save Dipper's level 23 already? Yeah, she's level 23. Yeah, she's, she's, getting there. she's getting there. She's not terrible. I mean, she hits pretty hard, I think. Her strength isn't awful. Uh, well, where's she? Where's she? Good, falls good, really that? good resilience. Whatever that means. Her she luck's like insane. Might be magic defense. I don't know, but uh, logistically, there's just the matter of the fact that um. Why is why is Madison's defense so bad? I guess uh, he really does need that cloak. Because they because they want you to go get the mantle. <laughs> I guess that's, that's, that's what it is. Kind of right in here is pretty crazy. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Welcome to why this dungeon is annoying. I mean, also the tedium of pushing a block through like all these hallways just to put it like they didn't put them in the room. No, you got to push them all across the damn floor. <laughs> Yikes. Hmm. It's actually a fairly legitimate case for having gone to hell right quick to get the really good item and then just coming to do this, admittedly. Because, uh, as far as the really good item that you get when you go right into hell is, uh, an item that lets you cast multi-heal. Hmm. Uh, and multi-heal is actually pretty good to spam every turn. Keep your party healthy. Fair enough. In fact, the guide is literally like, put it on someone who you don't think does very much damage, and just have them use it every turn. They recommend the daughter. They go, oh, okay, so the daughter sets up oomph, or whatever she's gonna set up, and then just uses that every turn. Hmm... You're probably gonna have to use leaves, but... Do we have a zing? No. Uh, Madison does, but... Obviously he's dead, so he can't zing. Staff Salvation is only mid-heal. Okay. Well, that's annoying. How can you check multi-heal? Just so I'm, like, clear on what it is in this game. Because this game might not have, like, the multi-mid-heal equivalent, so it might just be multi-mid-heal qualities. <laughs> Jeez, that took four casts. Oh, that's a really, that's pretty fucking good, actually. Multi-heal restores 100 to 120 HP to all allies. That's busted. Yeah. And they just give you a fucking item that does that. <laughs> 
That's pretty busted. Appar apparently your son knows it now. He's supposed to learn it at level 30. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, that's, 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 mid, that's mid heal. Yeah. That, that's mid heal quality to the entire party. Pretty good. Busted. So yeah, the guy's <clears> like, <throat> once you get the stone of life, which is what the item is, put it on someone. Have them use it all the time because it's really that overpowered. <laughs> Mash. So I started mashing. She's fucking hitting that hammer plenty. And it kills. It's three out of eight times. When it hits, it does a ton. That's how it works. It's it's kind of worth it, honestly. Her damage output is otherwise pretty shit, so, you know. We're just getting for the biscuit yeah. on these random enemies. Fuck yeah. Especially because uh, crits, I think, ignore defense. Which is important for these fucking terror ceratopses over here that actually have quite a bit. Uh... No, 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 no. Oh fuck yeah. you! Oh fuck you! <laughs> and I was literally gonna say, you know, this be a good time for Debson to use that multi heal probably in this fight. Okay. Hmm. This is a particularly fucked fight. <laughs> really? Well, I confused both of them. Safe passage, yeah. I need fucking safe passage. Well, you need to remember, Debson does, if you need it, he does have holy protection. It's a really good spell that lowers your encounter rate, supposedly. Yeah. This thing is such a fucking scam. It's supposedly 50%, but I don't know. It never feels that way to me. Well, so Zap Cannon. You know how Zap Cannon goes. Yeah. It's fairly costly. That's the only weakness of uh, multi heal. I mean, that's 18 fine. 18 is like. Yeah. But you have Elven Elixirs, so it's whatever. And again, they give you a fucking item that makes it free for some reason. <laughs> I mean, it's right towards the end of the game, to be fair. Yeah, I know. I think they'd start designing uh, the game around you using it, because they're like, we gave it to you, dumbass. It's it's literally, you can't even avoid giving it, getting it, it they literally, instant you go in, it's like, here, have this. Damn, yeah, missed. All right. One more, unless you also need to do it on the other floors. <laughs> oh, joy. Let's crit. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> that hammer is so good. Pretty good. Yeah. The hammer has more of a hit rate than fucking zing. Like, sure, why not? Ah, uh, I don't know. Three. He has good stats. Whip it. Yeah, no, whip it good is going back to the kindergarten. Oh, fuck. Oof. They really like this particular enemy layout, too. They know how annoying it is. <laughs> yes. Because these guys are actually really fucking fast.
Damn. Alright, we did it. Hmm. Alright, where's the last rock? That is a question. Damn it, Deborah. Definitely, definitely try for it, because if Deborah gets a crit off. Sure. Fuck it. Do not use anything other than attack. There's no point. Does the Nisian sword actually do the Metal King sword? They don't do better. I don't think they actually do better. I Actually, no, I think the Metal King sword does plus one damage. I think that's how it works. If it hits, it does two damage instead of one. Will the Dragon Staff do better? Doubtful, especially because breath weapons wouldn't work against them. Mm. <laughs> That's what it's really good for, is against metal slimes. Nice. <laughs> Whack. Very good, Deborah. Learning them insta kill spells. That's what you're good for. <clears throat> Where the hell did these things come from? I haven't seen them all the floor. More of these, please. Is that like the super fast guys who hit like a shit ton of damage? It's gonna be like the shit in the corner, isn't it? Oh god. Please stop summoning these things. Ow, oh, why? Why are you doing 176 damage? You think you're cool? Ew. Okay. So, according to the wiki, in the um, Super Famicom version of Dragon Quest V, you only needed to seal away the tiles on this final floor. However, in this remake, and all other remakes, you must seal away every tile on every floor. Why? Why? I don't know. The upside, the upside, however much you can argue it, is that once the, once you have sealed the tiles, monsters will no longer ever again spawn on that floor. Cool, but, I guess. Eh, it should have just fucking been this last floor. That's dumb. How many floors are there? Four. Uh... This is the last floor. You've actually already been to all the floors. It's just a matter of the fact that. I think this floor has the most tiles, and it is the largest floor. Mm. But... So I just I just ran past everything. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Thanks for killing Deborah right at the last fucking goddamn it. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to that fucking casino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fine. At least we're getting Deborah some good needed experience. Well, that's that's like one thing the guy was like. Is that is that a wall? Are, I can't tell. That is a wall. You will not be able to go through that. I don't think. Where's my first strike? Yeah, it feels like you don't get them as often as monsters do. I think the reason they get first strike so often is because they're fast enemies. Their agility is just that much higher than yours. But oh god, got shoved into the wall. Ugh. It's not insurmountable, but it's annoying. Can I like push it away from the wall, or do I have to push it down now? I think you'll be able to push it away because your character has sort of like a pill base. No, no, it looks like in this case it is stuck to the wall. 
Yippee! Whoops. Your character has like a pill-shaped hitbox, so you can kind of pull things out, but I guess you got it too close to the wall. I mean, it's fine. At least this way you'll be pretty adequately leveled for the final boss. That's what I wanted to happen, yes, yes. Can we not have this particular enemy layout? Every fight? I realized that I had like no HP left. Thank you. With a little bit of smart, that fight doesn't become super bad. I don't know what to deal with. Yeah. I just wish it would be less common. I mean, I, you know, I feel like that should be the rarest encounter, not the most common. <laughs> Here, come again. Nah, it's just four hogs. More of these, please. Yeah, more of these. This is an easy-ass fight. I think it also I gives, like, just as much experience as well. Yeah. And once you push this stone in place, this floor is done. The odor of monsters has disappeared. Alright. Yippee. I gotta go back up. <laughs> is that right? Well, we saw you sealed away the other four, so we thought we'd just come here. Uh, you spoil me. Fucking, the fucking wiki is like, it says like this dungeon uh, will be quite the challenge for players, as it has the most annoying encounters in the game. <laughs> it's not even that annoying, but it's like yeah, a little but... annoying. Uh, monsters, some of them treacherous adversary of the game. It is eating away my elf and elixirs, though. Alright, there's a block. Where the hell are we pushing this? Down? I don't know. You have to find the tile. I guess there's these guys. These guys are neat. Yeah, these Damn. guys are alright. That guy does a fuck ton of damage, though. Yeah. A lot. Archdemon's a classic monster for me because I frequently use him in the, the Monsters series. But... So, like, I'd be somewhere. skeptical what to push that thing until I actually know where the st fucking faces, but like also I understand. I have to assume it's down there. Stenturians. Nice. These guys barely More do anything. Needs. one. Might be the only one. Oh, man. You, uh... It sure would suck if you're, if it's, uh, not able to be shoved. It just lift the hammer. Wow. Thanks. Did, did it? It put <laughs> everything, including itself, to a, a sleep. What yeah, the it did. <laughs> I was like, oh god, what have I done? Mm 
good. Alright. You know the drill. <sighs> oh, oh good. no. Oh good. You know, that can I'm glad that's here. No way to cure it. I think turning into a dragon removes the curse. No. I just hate it because I'm of the pretty... noise, by the way. Yeah, that's right. just that. That's four is done. All right. Good, good. Good room. Is she done being cursed, actually? She's not taking damage. Maybe because the other no, no, she's still cursed. Isn't she supposed to be taking hey. damage out of battle though? No, yes. Whatever. Maybe she's being protected. Maybe it's because there are no monsters on the floor, which sounds dumb, but it could be legitimately their explanation. Nothing can curse her anymore. Actually, what is Sheen? I don't know that spell. Is that does that cure curses? The guy has it. No. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Good old Charlie Sheen here to cure, cure your cure, curse. Cure, cure, cure your curse. I guess. So we know where the tile is on this floor. We just need to find the stuff. We're one mini amount away from a new sword. Alright, there's the tile. There's the block. There's the stone. Oh. Wish it was always that easy. Aw, oh, man. I get so sad every time the hammer misses. Deborah learned oh, puff! Somebody... Wait, Deborah has it? It wouldn't be here. It'd be in her attributes battle magic. No? No. Your daughter has it, officially. God damn it. Alright, daughter. Here. I wouldn't even, like, give that to, uh... Like, you can give it to Deborah, but it's not even that useful on any other party member. The only reason it was good on your daughter is because your daughter sucks. Well, so does our wife. <laughs> so... Yeah, but she... Yeah, but she's got the hella hammer now. You kind of like that. I don't know. I mean, I do, but I kind of like her being a dragon sometimes more if there's, like, a shit ton of enemies. Fair enough. Also, she actually has a lot of Yggdrasil leaves, so we're, we're good there if we just, like, you know... Mm-hmm. That's any way it's like... Well, how the fuck what is the this going to work? Hmm. Well, it was stuck to the wall to begin with, right? I like, probably have to push it up into the top right, left, top wall. Uh, probably once it's in the corner, they wouldn't let it get stuck, so you can just force it. Yeah. It's just like the complete illogicalness of any block puzzles. 200, oh my god. Hey, I got a free exit to leaf. Look at that. Yeah, yep. I like that. Boy, that makes this puzzle a lot easier. When well, you know you can do that. That's it, I do have to push this back and push it up a little bit. You think about it logically. If the game is friendly, it's not gonna let your block get stuck. However, a lot of games will let your block get stuck. Yes. So, but they're designed around assume. letting your block get stuck. This game is just like, ah, fuck it, who cares? I think they, like, partially feel bad that they're making you do it on every floor. <laughs> But then they shouldn't have just done it, because in the original it wasn't like that. It's not even that hard. Yeah. The first floor will be the easiest, because the block, I think, is like literally right next to the tile. I did it super out of order and I had to do the annoying shit first. Yeah. Anyway. Like, there's your... Oh, oh, wait. It's already sealed. Yeah. Oh, that's why it says if you remove it. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's to teach you how the tile works. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there a boss? Well, it, it'll be it'll be down there now. It's just there, I think. Okay. I don't think there's any boss or anything. It didn't even take that long, honestly. Probably because <laughs> I was using fast forward, so. Yeah. But you know. Certainly a lot easier without monsters to worry about, but it's still a cave, and I really hate caves. It's much quieter. I'm gonna have to start. Yeah, start in trouble. Something like that. Am I just imagining it, or have all the monsters disappeared? I should just. That's all. All the monsters are gone. I don't see a single one of them. Yep, oh, there it is. Inexplicably. You monsters, why don't you answer me? Cave's a cave, monster or no monsters. Yuck, being here makes me feel all clammy. You can see monster footprints all over the place. There's no sign of the monsters themselves. Boy, there's Why a there's lot so of fucking lines. <laughs> Ready or not, here we come. I think the monster's playing hide and seek. Okay, there Jesus we go. Jesus Christ, why you gotta have so much to say about this? Well, luck, a pallium regal. Fucking busted. Listen, it's practically a... This is like it's the like most pretty... Goku item in the game. <laughs> yeah. Your daughter has it. <clears throat> Yeah. Alright. Uh Bye Dragon Mail. It's literally just the Yggdrasil armor. Yeah. It, it has I think it actually has more defense than the Yggdrasil armor. Which is hilarious. Um but it is basically both it and the Yggdrasil armor are a piece of armor designed specifically to fuck over Nimzo. Pretty much. Because guess what he likes to use? Fire and ice! <laughs> okay, listen, Mr. Dragon, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna get the fuck out of here. Alright, back to Lofty. Mm hmm. Well, that was a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, I guess we should get more Yggdrasil leaves. Although, we're actually doing okay on them. Despite how many we had to waste. Mm -hmm. Well, you were... You were playing it pretty cautiously with them and using Zing a lot. Only when I could. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Classic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, alright. Listen... I understand spamming B. <laughs> so, what level did we get everyone to? Pretty good, honestly. By the time you get to 33, Nimzo, you'll be 26, right. 31, 32. Yeah. I mean, Deborah, right Deborah won. Deborah will get to like around 30 by the time you get there. Maybe. She's actually pretty fast, but the children uh, are way faster. This fucking kid, this brat over here. I mean, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> It's like zoom. He's, he's meant to be. It's been a while since we last here. I wonder how everyone is. Uh, is there any other items we could toss into people's inventories? I don't really think so. Be clear, you're not going right to the final boss the second you go through this door. There is a dungeon, but. Does so everyone have equips? Yes. Yes. Technically, you're gonna get scammed. You're gonna have yes. to unequip some things. <laughs> but does she not have an equip? Uh, accessories are like rare. I mean, you could put like the elven charm on her or something. Like, there's not that many accessories. Is the problem? There's enough. Uh, it's also the prayer ring. No, that doesn't count. Mm. Tell us this still. Fairy foil, I think it's uh 
It's like Fuddle or something. Fuck if I know. It's not very good. Hmm. She can have the circle of life, I guess. It's sure. You're actually gonna. You're actually gonna have to un. I don't know how it works. Uh, you're gonna lose all three circles very briefly, but you'll be able to get them back if you want them. Hmm. Fire, water, and life. The the three elements. Yep, those three elements. All right. All right. Now it's due north. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I think we're okay. I would say that this dude could use more than. Oh, no, he has two. Never mind. Sorry. We have 14. All right, we're good. Yeah, we'll be all right. Keep driving directly north. No turns or nothing. Lizzy body. Damn. <laughs> he tried. I know that. It's life. funny to laugh at him when he fails, but if he had succeeded, we would have groaned. So you know. I mean, I would have laughed. <laughs> I know what it's like to hit inaccurate shit. Nice. This is why you need to unequip the three. I don't know if you have to unequip them, but when you examine the statues, you have to give them the stupid... Okay, you have to unequip them. You have to give each statue one of the rings. Uh, and then once you give them all one... Uh... You'll go to Nadiria, it'll give... There'll be a town there that you'll be able to zoom to. And then you'll be able to come back to Lofty Peaks, grab the rings, and then zoom to that town so that you can come grab the rings if you want them. If you don't want them, then you don't have to go get them. I mean, they're pretty fucking but, good, so... Yeah. Welcome to the Underworld, I guess. I don't know where the party hears a voice. Madison, have you already found your way to the dark and treacherous place? My dear Madison, you've gone to be stronger and bigger than I ever imagined. Oh, yeah, I could ask you to turn back. From now on, I will trust in the powers that you so clearly possess. And I will do so possibly. All I possibly can do assist you. I would like you to accept this gift from me. I wish you all the luck in the world, Madison, my son. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said you literally couldn't avoid it. <laughs> Just, like, have it. Take that shit. Cool. All right. They claim it's best on the daughter because she has access to no healing spells, but it could be equally true for uh, Deborah, so it's up to you. They don't expect anyone to actually date Deborah. It's just whoever you give it to uh, should be spamming it often, is the idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mama deals more damage, so Dada would do better with it. Yeah, it's just like... They're like, literally, at every opportunity, use it. <laughs> Ooh, music's going crazy. Yep. Pazuzu. Hey, wait, that killing machine. That killing machine. Dude. Gotta, gotta watch out for them. They're... One of very few monsters that get double attacks. Hmm. 
Nice. Well, that was a nightmare. Yeah. Where's this town at? It should just be somewhere in this desert area. I don't know exactly. There it is, right there. You could get it more easily if you, uh... Suppose we're allowed to fly here. What? Do you think we're allowed to like fly here? Uh, uh, no, you can't use the dragon. Yeah. You can, uh... I think the carpet works. Okay. Again, uh, this this is this was a trap. Uh, you just want to go left here. Uh, it's a little bit of a maze in this desert. Oof. I don't. I mean, maybe the magic carpet works, but it just feels like special areas they don't generally give you uh, the ability have fun. No fun allowed. That's for healing the people in my back row. It is. Okay, so ever since that crocodile opened up your wagon, you just permanently have access to your wagon. It's like, why did he do that? He's just like, here, have a favor from me. That's like, that is, I guess, an advantage you have. It's like, if one of your party members goes down and you encounter a situation where you would rather um, equip somebody from your back line, you could just do that at any point. I, I guess. In that party menu. But, like, also, yeah. I mean, there, there's a case for that if you want Gudian, but other than that. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go. Yeah. Jesus. It's a little less good than... Actually, hold on. Out of curiosity, maybe it is that, uh, affected by the user's magic stat. Does Deborah have a shitty magic stat? Dot has shit magic. Dot has better. good magic. She's good an magic, offensive good magic. specialist. Yeah. So, like, what I'm wondering is, would this... Because, like, when Deborah's using the Sage Stone there, it's healing for, like, 30. <laughs> and I'm wondering if it's... It's healing for like more than that. Okay. Well, Deborah's not using it. It's oh, being yeah, used by Dota. Okay, yeah. He should be doing... It should be healing plenty, theoretically. Damn. Yeah, it's healing for about 50-ish. Just still hard. Kind of annoying though in the sense that now you have to sit and watch it heal your back members <laughs> feels like it's doing less as a result of that i don't know i don't think debson's was did that i think that's actually a sage's stone only thing that it heals the back line it's kind of irrelevant but yeah i guess that's what it does hey do any of you assholes have zing yeah yeah he does I get I'm to work. Try again. Actually, this is the first time we had the whole whack. Oh no, it's because we're outside. I Thanks, bud. Right, that's why we even had that guy. We should have been doing that more. <laughs> we brought. Well, we, we couldn't do it inside practice. dungeons. So, God, what a great place to live. Wow, who if I turn into a goobad? Hope my friend Rocket turns into a goobad soon too. Hmm. Good old reference. 
I say that, but like Rocket is a slime in like multiple Dragon Quest games, but I feel like it's always referencing back to Rocket, Rocket slime. slime series. Yeah. Oh fi, oh fi, be one in a dragon, Nimzo might, might do wax daily. For Sutra did not abate, I fear he will break the seal and transcend the limits of Nadiria into the world above. Oh fi, oh fi. All right, well, this is the town you needed, so you have a zoom point to here. Now you can go get the rings if you want. Well, now... Ooh, I bet these have good shit in them. Look at that. Some decent stuff. Can also be used as a tool. What does Power Shield do? I don't know. Silver Shield's probably better, though, because it's got that... Of magic and fire based attacks, baby. Uh, but let's check power shield just out of curiosity. Oh, those are expensive. Oh, fuck. Yeah. We're actually going to yeah, run out of money. Are really expensive. Well, you could. There are. Okay. So some of those staffs you're not it. fucking using are worth 10k a pop. Like, yeah. And if you want, you can go buy more Gringham whips at the casino, and those are worth 5k a piece. Money is still a non-issue. Um, I don't think the Gringham whip is even the most effective way to get the money back. I think there's another one you can sell for way more. Yeah, but basically, yeah. there are, money is not actually as big a concern as it seems. No. I, I mean, call the I daughter can equip it, can. though. Uh, she can equip Silver Shield? Yes. Okay. It's actually really nice on her. What does the Power Shield do? Ah, mid -heal. On yourself, and only yourself. Pretty bad. It's not the worst. Yeah, but compared to... That. You know? Yeah. And that, that is just nice on everyone. Yeah. Well, specifically Madison, actually. So we could probably scrounge up the money for that. I mean, yeah, we have a whole bunch of crap we're never going to use. Including this god-awful lightning staff. That's worth 10k. Um, yeah, that's fine. It's worthless. Uh, honestly, that stupid Staff of Salvation in Donna's inventory is also worthless. Uh, it's a free, out, free zing. It's not zing. Mid-heal. Complete trash. Oh, okay, that's bad. It's that's not even worth much. Though. I thought it was Zing. I was incorrect. Uh, I doubt they let you sell some of this stuff. <laughs> oh. It's the only one in the game. I really don't bad. care. Apparently we have a lot of those. Yeah. Yep. Dragon metals. Yep, yep. Did you look up what the fairy foil does? I will double check. I'm pretty sure it's bad, but fairy foil. Oh, okay. It's not horrible. It's single buff, not cub buff. Not great, really, eh. but. We do have some of the falcon knife earrings. Staff of Divine Wrath. That sounds pretty good. It's probably not. It sounds like it'd be good. Let's see what Staff of Divine... What a name for... What's the spell? Uh... Oh, wow. Ooh. You tempt me. Staff of Divine Wrath. Whoosh. Normal whoosh. That's pretty divine. <laughs> what is that Divine Wrath? Deborah and Dada would both equip that. However, it's worse on Dada. Yeah, it's better on Deborah, worse on Dada. Because Dada has the princess robe, which is actually pretty good.
Anything else? It was pretty much good. I mean, the big thing would have been, like, if there was more power helms that were useful, but I actually think the Zenithian helm is on average better than... So, he doesn't need one. And then Madison. Obviously, yeah. So I think you're good. Oh, well, that was a massive defense upgrade for the whole party. So that was pretty nice. Yeah, they'll, there'll be a weapon shop here, but it won't be worth it because you have the second best weapon in the game across the board. So... No, maybe they'll have, the like, shop. some specialty dude items or something like that. It's highly unlikely the shops have whatever the fuck item is better, but... I'm a strange shaped town. It looks a little bit like something something. Oh. Well, whatever it was. Dragon's Bane. Blizzard Blade. The Flame Tang Boomerang Clang. Ah, uh, there it is. Hey, it's been a while since the previous boomerang, huh? Staff of Resurrection is probably the Zing Staff. But... Where to guess? Great bow. Huge upgrade on the monsters. Holy shit. Puts Mason up to a respectable amount of damage. If aimed well, this spell, this spear can. Inf Wait, what? So this is another it, crit weapon? I believe when it says that, it means there's like a microscopic, like, 5% chance to insta-kill. Okay. That just means it does actually, yeah. It's, oh, here's something for increased damage on dragons. Yeah, it is weird that it... I mean, that's the dragon spain. It's, that is the classic... Um, Good against dragon weapon. But it's not very good. Yeah, it's not really worth it here. Would would the Staff of Resurrection will, actually be useful? I will check. Because I, I would just, I would take Zing if, as a staff. Staff of res or Resurrection. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, it says it does use Zing. It says it best uses a Hail Mary. <laughs> I don't know why it's described that way, but... Why is that thing so good? Like, the defense on mean? that is actually almost comparable the, to yeah, what she has. Yeah, the defense is fine, but it's... It's weird that they give you to you this late in this game. Oftentimes they give you Hermes hat before you have access to zoom, and it has less defense than that, obviously. Musk. I bet oh, that wow. fucking how works. Much, how much, yeah, how much you want to bet Musk works? <laughs> well, they have boost and counter rate? No fucking way they wouldn't just... Oh, yeah, there's your last mini metal. Fucking finally, dude. So that means one character can have... That shield. Uh. Glad I just bought all the fucking shields. Yeah, there's actually, like, a legitimate case that the Metal King shield might not be better? I don't know for sure how that works. I'd here. have to assume it's better. It's probably better. Probably blocks, like, how metal slimes work. So just magic fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. In theory? I mean, in theory. I'll check Metal King's shield. Compared to Silver Shield. What okay. luck. A TNT ticket. Shield. Mm. Instead of. Huh. Well, that makes it less good now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let me check the Silver Shield's defense value, real quick. Did we finally get the thing and it's it's outdated now? Give me just a moment. Okay, so on a, it does have 15 more defense than the Silver Shield. However, 
instead of protecting against magic, like, uh, you know, ice and fire spells like the Silver Shield does, it instead protects against Fuddle Snooze, Instant Death, etc. <laughs> Why? So it's bad <laughs> compared to Is there the anything people. good and worthwhile then? Uh, in that list of things that they offer at that place? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> we, we were hyped this whole time about it. And, uh, god damn it. Feels a glow inside. Don't you, don't you just love a... Like, I went to read and I was like, I expected it to have resistance to those things, and I was like, oh, it's just going to be a straight upgrade to Silver Shield. But it says very explicitly, instead of those benefits. Do you have any regrets about your life? You must have this. It's the Anulum Retitidium. Anulum Retentium. Retentium. Yeah, so, Anal of Retention, basically. Okay, what, what, does, what does this do? Does this let me refight bosses? Analum? Hold on. Let me take a look. A knickknack of some sort. You probably wouldn't find any ah, shopkeeper. Okay. It's just a knickknack. Who gives a fuck? Just a knickknack. Wow, thanks. Just a fucking knickknack. Entirely worthless. It's like, I like how he starts it with, do you have any regrets in your life? Well, go, go do the knickknack quest line, and you will. My only regret in life is that I didn't do enough knickknackatory side quests. You must have lived a pretty full life, then. Hey, is this statue giving me back my stuff? Uh... Oh, no. No. Is there even an in here? That's actually kind of weird if there's not. Wait, the... Wait. Oh, look at over there. He's a... It's a, it's, a, it's a secret to everybody. Well, how do I... Uh, how, how do I do that? It's probably from the wheelhouse that you were just in. Um, somehow. You can just head out, like, a door somewhere? Up there. Oh. See it? Yeah, I'm blind. Okay. Probably, probably where you're at. Strike a light, you went and found me. Doesn't mean you'll be getting the treasure I nabbed. A merry a man. Alright, merry Dad, why are all the women in our family dragons? Well, son. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, she slept as a stone for ten years. I don't think she wants to fall asleep again. Three wow, that damage. Kind of sucks. I mean, her defense is I insane mean, I, now. I mean, I say he sucks, but it's also not fair. <laughs> This killed this poor guy. Solo, solo staff. All right, time for Google to help us out again. They should just tell you in game. It's annoying that I have to look this up. It seems there were relief power paralysis and petrification. Oh, it actually says. Okay, there you go. That's oh, no, that actually that's good. the staff she used to save. Yeah. It was used. It can be found there. It that's it. It actually doesn't have any. It doesn't have any specific effect or anything. That's just what it does. That's its flavor. If you want a good attack staff weapon. But it also cures paralysis and uh, stone. Which are those status effects that it can even happen? I I, I don't think those exist. So. Well. Uh... To my knowledge. I mean, we'll see if it's any good. I mean, I mean, you can grab it just in case, but like, also, it's not even good. 
I mean, for a staff weapon, it might be okay, but like, eh. We have the cares. fucking whip, so it's like, alright. Anyway. Get us out of here. Already. Gotta go grab your rings. Very important. Oh, God. Efficient. God damn it. No, the <laughs> portal's going away. No. It's a dumb requirement. It should just, like, temporarily take them to open the gate and then you just get them back. Or whatever. Yeah. But Dragon Quest holds true to its roots. Old school RPG mechanics, baby! Can, back. Can we zoom from here? Oh, okay. No, you have to leave this room, probably, to it back, and that sounds dumb. But, probably what it is. No, nope. you just can't evac from this particular dungeon. Cool. Thanks, Cam. Mother Ocker. Good old Mother Ocker. Alrighty. And then from here, it's pretty much a straight shot. Final dungeon. Yep. I might pass control over to you so you can do the final dungeon. It was a good session. Oh, Oh, we might do two in a row. It's fine by me. Let's get it done. I... No, don't use the shield again. I am really quickly going to go see if that shield is, uh, if there's other options. I don't remember there being other options that were worth their damn. So the mini metals have been completely useless all fucking game. Apparently. I mean, they would have been good. Like, logistically, if you had spent them earlier on something like a Falcon Blade, we would have had access to that, like, before we had access to, you know, but, like... No, we wouldn't have. <laughs> no, nah, actually, anyway. we had access to the casino pretty quickly, like, as soon as yeah. we had access to our Before own we even had access to the main metals. Yeah. Yeah, just, like, basically, no. I mean... It... I guess if you aren't chasing the casino, they're good, but like, other than that. But like, that's a specific use case. Uh. All right. It's cute. You all have the little rings, and the sun gets nothing. The sun gets nothing. He gets to have the best gear. Yeah, that's true. And the best stats, and just like, he gets to be the hero of Legend. If you want to give him a piece of equipment, if you didn't sell that elfin charm, it doesn't do nothing, it just does very little. Uh, he has a meteorite bracer, which is like better. Oh right, yeah. I forgot he had an accessory at all. Never mind. Like buffs his bullshit. I think it like gives him super speed or something. Uh, yeah, I believe it's a. It makes you always move first. Meteorite bracer. Yeah. Check. Oh, it doubles your agility. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why his agility is so insane. Yep, yep. Well, if you want to look at his things, it is Dominicus's Dominion. Which was on page one. It's not... Yeah, it's It's 15. not that it's bad defense, but it has the wrong effect. <laughs> yeah. Sacred armor? No. It heals you a little every turn, which would have been alright earlier. And the pajamas, which are bad. So, well, all it's, bad. It's a situation... What I'll say is, had you bought the sacred armor earlier it would have been better than the so, armor you had access to tell you what i'm gonna but, get the i'm gonna get the metal king shield very well my little minikin and i'm gonna give it to fucking him uh i just put it in there for late for fun uh and i don't have a single metal on me do i no you don't no. have any metals okay because you just spent them all uh i think we're gonna give it to somebody because, I don't know, see, what does an Ethian shield do? Uh, it might only be used as a tool during battle. I'll double check. What does it do as a tool during battle? Just buff? Because then it's better than the Zenithian shield. Zenithian shield? It might actually have an effect. I'm double checking. I mean, it does have an effect during battle. The shield casts bounce, and that's it. Okay, so useless. Yeah. So and it is better than the Zenithian shield. There you go. We found a use for the damn thing. The silver shield would still be better, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. Uh, well. The, the, like, as much as this is an argument, the silver, the silver shield would still be better. Uh... Yeah, I guess it would be. Well, to be fair, he's already, like, doubled up on fire and ice resist. Does that, like, stack? Uh, yeah, it all stacks together. Cool. It makes you take, like, fucking nothing. His helm gives him resistance to snooze, fuzzle, etc. The armor... Makes you resistant to all magic, except for bang and zap. Uh, sword. Okay. Yeah. He's actually only got one thing right now that's boosting his resistance to magic, but that's whatever. And in fact, there's a case for the Metal King Shield being especially bad on him. Because his helmet already does that. And yes, it does stack, but at a point where you're already having a 75% chance to dodge it. Attacking them is not that good. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll play along. What spell does, does Grandmaster Nimso have? You don't know, maybe, maybe it's useful. You know, I bet the Falcon Knife earrings, since Deborah can equip them, they might be better than the Diamond Nails. It could be. It's a situation where um, if you have enough requisite strength, they are better. I mean, I think they're just higher damage than the nails. Are they? Yeah. Because these are... No, there actually aren't. Actually, that's not even that much of a damage fall off. Oh, 
Oh, but I was using the Hella Hammer. That doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So not much of a damage fall off. She actually can get to a pretty impressive attack stat. I'm gonna double check that's how it works at five though. Cause Alright, so like... which of these can I sell? And they actually sell for a bunch? Let me take a look. So I know the sword doesn't sell for anything. How much did these sell for? 750 gold. Okay, so not much. Meanwhile, the Gringham Whip is actually just like so fucking... Oh, wait, we, we have way more money than I realized we had. Yeah. All right, so we can we can just scam the fuck out of the casino then. Yeah, and it, it literally is just worth going to. Like as much as I'm memeing, uh, like straight up that fucking okay shields like garbo, because guess what Nimzo uses? Fire and ice. He actually uses bang a lot too, uh, which it does not protect you against. But but now there's another king shield. About that. Would what? it defend you more? Uh, it's resilience that he's targeting with magic, so mm. defense wouldn't matter in that situation. So, you are being protected from his Scorch. In his first phase, he uses Cold Breath, but for some reason he loses that when he goes to his second form. Um, don't know why. Eh, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, but you will be protected against his Kefrizzle and his Scorch. Uh, but not his bang that he sometimes uses. Cool. Sandra never brought us here. <laughs> Should we have time to be hanging around here? Okay. Um... Now we're going to leave. Want to go to Precaria? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Also, there is an inn. It's right there, by the way. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm just going to mention that, but then I got distracted. Anywho. Uh, yeah, the Metal King shield. Uh, in the bag like, you go. It's like actual fucking garbage. <laughs> Thanks! Oh, boy. It, it's a shame that it's actual fucking garbage, but... Um, do these not sell for anything? Don't they? What do you mean? Oh, never mind, they yeah. do. It just they didn't list 10K it. Each. It didn't list no, it. No, because you're selling multiple. They don't like when they're when it's on the screen. You don't get to see what you're selling it for. Mm. It's only once you are selling it that he actually displays the price. Thanks, you big scam artist. We're helping knock down the uh, the powers that be. Mm. Uh, we'll take that silver shield. Thanks. Everyone except Deborah can equip it. As they should. If they can, they should. Because. Deborah, uh, can you, you really... like take any of these shields, please? God, we should just throw fucking Cootie in fact. <laughs> we really, really should. Unironically. Like, I'm. I am dead serious, we should. She is bad. <laughs> and I know it feels wrong. But she's in the party. Well, at least equip is junk. Uh, uh, mirror armor will be his best armor, probably. Well, hold on. Could Back we have at gotten... the cast. Hold on. Does that does that reflect healing spells too? Hold on a minute. Mirror armor. I swear. They reflect magic. 
escintillating. Doesn't fucking say. I mean... Yeah. It sucks. It doesn't say whether or not it does it. I know in later games it doesn't do that, because I use Mirror Armor in later games, but it's the fact that this happens in this game, you know? Yeah. Mirror Armor... healing spells. Will Mirror Armor reflect my healing spells? Yes, it does. <laughs> Cute. I mean, not that Goodian really needs healing that often. Yeah. It is the best armor in terms of defense for him, so, you know. But this is a dark. What does a dark shield do? A tool during uh, battle. Let's double check that it is a monster shield. Dark shield. Uh, black car over shield. Absorb magic. Okay, that's getting sold. Regardless, we should, if we're, it's like, probably the mirror armor anyway, um, and it's not a guarantee, it's 33% chance, so, it's not anything specific. I mean, his stats aren't that amazing compared to hers, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not that amazing. Jesus Christ. It's not even I mean, fucking close. I mean, the one advantage she has is that she has high resilience, but then she doesn't get to have the mirror shield, so like, you know? <laughs> she has higher wisdom, I guess, and luck. Doesn't really matter. More agility. Uh, It's not fair. Why is he so much better than she is? <laughs> I know he's a couple levels higher, but Jesus Christ. It's it's rough. You can't do it on this. You have to be out on the field. But. Throw him fully healed. I don't know. I'll just go heal anyway. All right, then. It's in here. Ah, right. uh, it's sad. <laughs> The world that we live in. Here, we'll put you on second reserve. Is it, she's she's the first to come in if we need her. She's not. <laughs> she's she's honorary fifth. She's she's here for it, you know. She's around. She's in the wagon. You know, honestly, she'd prefer this if I'm not like she'd be bitching and moaning that she's in the party. <laughs> Probably. I mean, compared to Gudian, though, it's like, yeah. what the fuck? I, well, I just think what about it logistically. What the fuck? I what think if we the had, fuck? Yeah, it's like, not fair. He's just better. And it's, it, especially if you look at shit like his HP, his defense. Ugh. The attack is actually hilarious. It's like a whole 100 higher. Yeah. yeah. Wait, is it? Hold on, is that 86? I think that's 106. Oh, what? you mean the attack? Yeah, yeah. The attack two thirty six. Like yeah, two thirty six. And his strength is also twenty. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a good time for Discord to die. Good time for Discord to die. So 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 unfair that Discord had to die. You didn't see that save states a lot. All right. All right, all right. That is going to be that episode. And now it's going to be passing back to Super and probably for the final time. It is very unlikely that we don't finish in the next episode. I think the last dungeon will take us about an hour and a half, including the final boss. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're not doing the post-game dungeon. <laughs> That's not happening. No, I don't want to do fucking S. Stark's dungeon. It's annoying. I might look at a video to see what he looks like, but I think I already saw him. And he, he, he like, counts how many turns it takes for you to defeat him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
I think, I think you don't beat him in 50 turns, he insta-kills you. But yeah. it's like, and that sounds ridiculous. Like, oh, I'll definitely beat him in 50 turns. No, you won't. Not necessarily. That's actually an annoying time limit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I will say, I, I think I set you up with a pretty damn good party. Uh, yeah, we'll probably be quite alright. Oh, you needed um, to actually equip Gudian. Yeah, remember to equip Gudian with all the junk that I gave the wife? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Make sure to do that. Anywho. It should be pretty fine. I think we'll... I think with our gear, we'll fucking destroy Laja. Um. <laughs> yeah, and it sounds like the final boss is a little, be a little bitch as well. He has a total health, including his first form, of like 10,000. Yeah, have but... fun. 